Windows XP and Vista included special folders for storing users' data, such as My Documents and My Pictures. In Vista, these folders are automatically indexed to allow users to perform faster, more efficient searches on their content. However, many users store their files all over their PC in various folders and even on external devices, which can have a negative impact on indexing. In many ways, a library is similar to a folder. When users open a library, they can see one or more files or folders. However, unlike a folder, a library can display files that are stored in several folders at the same time. This is a subtle but important difference. Libraries don't actually store items. What you see are essentially shortcuts to files and folders. By adding folders to your libraries, and you can include any folder, including those on external hard drives, it ensures the system will index these folders, which speeds up the searching process. You've got four libraries, one of which is for pictures. And in there, initially, you have two locations. Now, I have my pictures in a number of locations. I've got a folder on my desktop. I've even got a couple of folders on this E drive. And I really want to be able to have them still physically where they are now, but available from one location. So if I go back to my pictures library and click on two locations, what I'm going to do is add in those other locations by clicking on add and choosing the folder off my desktop that's got my Christmas meal pictures in it. Then add it again, going to my E drive and choosing stock photos. Add again, going to my E drive, choosing USA photos. So what I now have is I now have five folders which are referenced within this library. Now when I look at the library, I can actually see the five folders. They are the separate folders in their original locations, but I can access all the images in them and all the folders from one location.